What's going on guys? It's your boy Headband J coming back at y'all with another video. Today this is another reaction commentary video that we're doing. If you are a part of the basketball community, I'm sure that all of you are familiar with Julian Newman. He is basically an influencer basketball player at this point. He is the kid who went viral when he was 11 years old and then he ended up not growing and becoming a ball hog and creating a lot of drama and not even being that good and having his dad create his own school for him called Prodigy Prep which was all just super weird. But anyway, we all know that Julian Newman has fallen off the face of the earth, other than the fact that he has his own TV show with Overtime. His family has a reality TV show. It's called Hello Newmans. They're like on like their fourth season now. It's been going on for a while, uh, maybe even more than four seasons. So with all that being said, I just wanted to react to you guys to the second half of this last episode of Hello Newmans that was posted. Apparently, Julian Newman is going pro even though we know that this is Cap because I googled Julian Newman's name and there was nothing being said about him going pro. I just wanted to react to this with you guys and let's get our thoughts on the Newmans and see what he's been up to and see what he's going to cap about in this episode or what his dad is going to cap about. So let's get right into it. I also skipped the first half of the episode because I didn't want you guys to have to watch uh, more than five minutes of Hello Newman's. So we got five and a half minutes left. And yeah, let's check it out. So they got <laughs> guests for yeah, Valentine's yeah, Day for like their mom and their and the sister and the family, <laughs> Jaden. So I get it. All he's thinking about is basketball, thinking about his focus, thinking about going overseas, thinking about all that new stuff that's gonna happen in his life. He's a young kid, he's got huge expectations. So basically of what but he's Walmart LeVar Ball is talking about here is just that it helps him feel that fire for him. Is just that Julian is just focusing too much on the basketball stuff in his life and needs to focus on family. I mean his family definitely is his family obviously raised him when he was younger but I mean at this point how much value does be does being around his dad and his sister and his mom add to his life I couldn't imagine that much value I mean <laughs> and I'm not trying to be a dick here and just pry too much into people's personal lives but like seriously like Jamie Newman has done nothing but hurt Julian's career so Jamie Newman is saying here that Julian needs to spend more time with his family. I think Julian should move out and get his own place and try to do something on his own with his basketball career because his dad has done a horrible job of mismanaging his career and making Julian think about playing the wrong way. But that's just my opinion. Phone pro. Man, it must be so awkward to film reality shows. It was, they're so staged. But especially this one. This is a low budget reality show. You want to go play ball, you want to go overseas, you want to go get the extra work in. You know, it's Valentine's Day. Family's the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? So you got to leave that little, little, little rest for a little bit. Come eat with us, come hang with us. You know, the course going to be there tomorrow, the next day, and the next day. You know what I'm saying? You know, you want to go overseas bad, it's going to come. Just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. It's gonna happen. Bro, you can just tell just how done Julian is with this reality show. Like, imagine this, like, they have to get this cameraman on a balcony before they even get out there with this bright-ass light, and then Jamie Newman has to open the door, and they both have to pretend like this is some kind of candid conversation that they're having. Like, this is some low-brow entertainment. This is some low-hanging fruit. This is, like, even worse than TLC, because, like, I don't know if you guys have seen other basketball reality shows, but Ball and the Family is a really good example of a reality show. And some of the reactions that they actually get are candid and are genuine, kind of like when LeVar Ball saw LiAngelo's tattoos for the first time. If you haven't seen that, you got to look it up on YouTube. But this is like, oh my God, this reality show is so painfully staged and like, but hey, I'm sure that they're securing the bag from overtime though. But like, <laughs> it's it's the paradox because like no everyone hates Julian Newman, but no but we're all gonna keep clicking and there's gonna be videos like this. So hey, go get that bag. Julian's gotta understand. 
family will always have your back. Family. No one else does. And when you learn to appreciate these moments together, Fast and Furious. that's going to help him level up. Because in the back of his mind, he knows he has his family in his corner. And we're going to be there forever, whenever. Especially when he's overseas and playing. All right, let's go back inside. But back where overseas, though? Where overseas? There would have been a deal like right by now if it would have happened. Julian needs to go play semi-pro, man. He just can't keep sitting around. Like, he's got to find some league to play in. He's got to find, like, a third-tier league in Australia or something to play in, man. Next day, my dad gets the whole family together for another big dinner. After everything that went down at Valentine's, he's got to go with it. They got music blaring, lights all in the front. Reminds me of an Italian movie. And this place is crazy. <laughs> His acting is so bad. It's like we're walking inside a Goodfellas right now. They got live music. Dude, it's an American around, Italian restaurant. You can, you can get the same thing from going to Buca de Beppo. Everybody, we're here tonight. We're celebrating. Big announcement coming, baby. Big announcement. We're ordering all the food. We're going to celebrate big. Big time. Big time. Let's get it. Come on, man. Quit playing. You know you have nothing to tell us. And you just want an excuse to blow a bunch of money on dinner. You got to see. If I tell you right now, it won't be a big announcement. Bro, Julian just looks just like so just like done with this shit. Like you guys see like way he's doing his eyes and shit. Like he's so tired of this. But he can't say anything because I'm sure that his family is getting a nice paycheck from the reality show. But he's like, man, I do not want to be doing this right now. I want to be hooping. I don't want to be doing this fake acting, hanging out with my psycho dad who controls every aspect of my life. And I'm sure that, you know, they love each other. And that his dad has some good qualities. But at the end of the day, his as I was saying before, his dad was the one that fucked up his basketball career. Whatever. You know, he's keeping a tight lip about it. Guess we'll just have to wait. He's saying it's big. He better not disappoint. My dad just decided we're going to do everything. Oh, yeah, we want appetizer. Clams. There was like a big plate he showed. You ever want that too? Chicken parm. Get that Damn, dinner. chicken parm, one of my All favorites. Italian dishes I never even heard of. You see how big these plates are? Wow. Like literally, we real family style shit. That that is one thing I like about these kinds of Italian restaurants. They just give ungodly portions. And this atmosphere is crazy. They go on the dance floor for people that don't know. They wouldn't even dance with me. That looks fun. That looks like a fun restaurant. Ooh. Can't go to Olive Garden again, Danny. Where are you going, dude? After we finish the meal, all of a sudden, dad just gets up and starts walking towards the stage. What is he doing? Oh my God. Thank you so much to my mother's house. Thank you guys for staying open. We appreciate everybody here. We thank you so much. Best food, best dessert. There's probably some people in the back like, like, like just like Conor McGregor from that one meme. Who the fuck is that guy? On the planet is right here. Jaden literally looks like she's about to die from bears. We ready for the announcement? You guys ready? I mean, I've been waiting all night. Yeah. You, you, well, you can wait another five minutes. The announcement is Julian is going to Australia. Give it up, NBL. Bro, Australia. even. <laughs> Do you guys see the expression on Julian's face when, when he did that? He like he like put his head on. He's like, what? He was like, this what you capping about now? He was like, we're gonna put this on the reality show. Even Jul, I, see this is what I'm talking about. Even Julian didn't know where he was gonna go play overseas. And when his dad's saying this, his dad probably's off the wine. He's like, oh my god, the whole internet is gonna see this. <laughs> Julian is just dying of embarrassment right now. He's like, okay, shit, I, I guess. Heard that I'm gonna be playing in the NBL in Australia. My hard drop. Crazy to think, like, man, we're about to do it. I mean, wouldn't he have known, like, he's the player, like, kind of the most important part of a contract, of a professional athlete contract? Why would his dad know and he wouldn't know? You got, you guys see what I'm saying here? Like, the only people this show is tricking is like if you're under the age of 10. Greatest news ever. Cheers to the haters out there. We love you guys. Appreciate it. You think you can do it? He's doing it bigger and better than anything else. Okay, I, I think we've seen enough. Julian Newman has a pro contract in Australia. He wasn't even aware of it. Julian Newman has agreed to play in the NBL, but the NBL has not agreed. 
And with all that being said, I just wanted to just react to this really quickly today. I got another what happened to blank drop it on Friday that I'm excited for. With all that being said, if you like sports content, make sure to check out my channel. I make mostly basketball, but every now and then I'll do another sport like soccer or football, but mostly basketball videos on this channel. I post three times a week. It's your boy Headband J signing off.